<laughs> here we are in the engine room. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. So the center tank of our boat is right there behind this wall. The hole that you can just barely see right there is where the fill pipe goes. There's currently a fill pipe hooked up to the starboard tank and there is currently a fill pipe hooked up to the port side tank. However, there is nothing on the center tank. Tricky part is that the exhaust elbow and the muffler and all this other stuff is here. And uh, we tried to figure out if we could slide this thing to the side one way or another, but due to all the custom work and pipes and things involved, we decided that instead of moving it to the side, we are going to actually plumb around it. So that's what's happening right here. We're hooking up our center tank and the ladies are going to assist. How am I gonna put this stuff on? Well, you take the stuff and it's got a little brush on the end of it. Oh, it does? And you take the brush and you go whoo, whoo, whoop, all the way around it. Yep, just like that. And you gotta be sure you make that noise too. Let me hear it. Whee, 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 whee. <laughs> yep, you are qualified. center tank is plumbed. It comes out and turns, it goes over and turns, it goes through a valve, it goes straight into two hose barbs. So that is pretty much the setup. Open, closed. Still have to put hose clamps on and do some slight adjusting, otherwise. Thank you for your help, ladies. You're welcome. welcome. I could have done it without you, but it would not have been anywhere near as much fun. Right. <laughs> Hello! Hey! <laughs> Here you go, Molly. Can you, hold, can you grab that? Be careful. Got it good. Alright, I'm going to take the other one out. Hey! Hey! There's a hole in our boat. Oh. I like the squish. So we removed the port lights. We took all of the old bedding compound off of the port lights and from, you know, around the housings. Clean the hardware. And now, ooh, ah, ooh, we have reinstalled the port lights. So, oh my word, look at all that butyl tape squishing out of there. Do you, do you see how squishy that one was on the other side? Yeah, I haven't gotten to that one yet. Oh wow, that one is really gushed. Yeah. Really gushed. Yeah, that's what we want though. Got that, uh, I want that stuff squishing out everywhere it can squish out. Yeah, looking good though. Now these port lights were not leaking, uh, but since we're redoing uh, the forward cabin, you know, and these are behind the walls, we wanted to be sure these were good and watertight because we don't want to have everything put together and then discover that they're leaking. And these things are most certainly going to be underwater at times, so we definitely want them to be leak-proof. Right, darling? Correct. There you go, baby. 
Hey. Yeah? What'd you need those snips for? What are we up to in here? We are ins installing, what is it called? The alternator uh, temperature gauge? Oh, wire. so close. Sensor. Uh, sensor? Yep. Yeah. Temperature sensor for the alternator. Yep. That's right. So got this cable here, it has a thermistor on it, and that attaches to the alternator, and then the wire is run to the regulator, right there. Yep, so it's just a safety feature for the alternator. It dials back the alternator's output if it gets too hot. So yep, use? yeah, let's use that little washer. What are you doing? Putting the gauge, the wire thing inside this black stuff. Ah, oh. I love it when you use such technical <laughs> terms, Tammy. Wire thing and black stuff. I hope everybody's paying attention to this because there are people that come to our channel to learn, Tammy, uh, specifically about wire things and I black hope stuff. Not coming to us to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this that, stuff is really annoying. <laughs> hey, they, they're learning one way or another. Yeah, whether what it's, not to do. Yeah, whether it's something they want to learn how to do or how not to do it. They are learning. This stuff is really annoying. <laughs> it doesn't open. <laughs> Would it help if I added a little mood music? No, it would help if you opened it and I could feed it in. I think that would make things a little too easy. <laughs> I don't want to detract from you having the genuine experience of putting cabling inside plastic corrugated sheathing. No, I'm sorry. Black stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Like the back side of this wood is not sealed. It's just bare plywood. Anyways, I'm gonna seal the back side of this and uh, there is actually some delamination up here. So the tricky part up here is how do I get epoxy in, how do I describe it, into cracks where the epoxy is just gonna leak out the bottom. So I think what I'm gonna do is tape the bottom. Then I'm gonna drill some holes, you know, up higher. Then I'm going to eject epoxy into the holes up high so that it'll fill up and, you know, fill all these voids. And then I'm going to clamp it since it's going to be wet with epoxy and then, you know, take off the tape on the bottom. I think that's my plan. Okay. I don't know how else to do it. <laughs> so, Sounds like it might work. Yeah, okay. Okay, got this, got this full of epoxy, got it clamped in place. Going to be letting that dry. And now we're going to epoxy the inside of the chain locker while this is drying. What have you been up to? Exploring. Yeah? Like what? Where? Uh, Just around the boat yard? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And then... What happened? You knocked the cup over? Yeah. Mommy knocked the cup over. Is it okay? Do you think that's a big problem or a minor problem? Depends on how much pox is spilled. Hmm. 
because if it's a minor problem, we're going to go help. If it's a big problem, you mean you should probably just get in the car and go home. All right, it's time for a little booster for the ladies. I'm taking them to get snow cones, but they don't know yet. Wow, that's close. <laughs> Snow cone. Snow cone. <laughs> you want a snow cone? Yeah. <laughs> How's your morale now, ladies? Great. <laughs> Doing good? Mm. Your snow cone was good? Mm -hmm. You approve? Yes. Stick out your tongue. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like that the rest, tomorrow. The rest of your life, maybe. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right, the crew has moved on to new projects with renewed vigor from increased morale from a surprise snow cone reward. Isn't that right, ladies? That is correct. Right. All right, so they are working on the floor in the head here. So uh, there's a spot there that I had to sand down and beef up. All this area needs paint. So they're sanding it down and gonna put a fresh coat of paint on there. Molly. Yeah. Try not to get any blue on the floor. Yeah, try not to. Alright, here's Molly demonstrating proper taping techniques. As you can observe, she's using the toe hold method. And she is bending her body completely in half. Both her heel and her chin are mere millimeters from the floor as she tapes this inside corner. Don't try this at home, folks. Doesn't it look a load better, Tambi? Oh yeah. That looks way better. I'd love to get another coat on there, but we're leaving tomorrow. And uh, we're just not gonna have time on this trip. All right, ladies, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you section commences in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Cricket. Cricket. All right, everybody. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Wasn't it fantastic? It was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes. Great. All right, so we do have a couple new patrons that we want to thank. Two sunset sailors. And Matthew. Thank you guys so much for becoming new patrons. We really appreciate it. And we also have a couple people who have sent us things from our Amazon wish list. And one of those things is actually some chain hooks. We were sent four of these things. We already took two of them to the boat and these are going to assist us basically in anchoring. You'll, you'll see what these things are going to be used for here pretty soon. 
And then in addition to that, we also were given four shackles. Now these fellas right, whoop, these fellas right here again, uh, these are gonna be used for a snubber system and uh, also to connect our anchor to the, the main chain, uh, a couple other things. But yeah, these are very handy to have and very nice ones too. These are Manta shackles. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I don't really know who sent us uh, these things. There wasn't a note, but thank you very, very much. This is super nice stuff. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching the video. We will catch you in the next one. See you next time. Bye. Bye.